Peter, can I ask that the Minister for Health would come back to the House to have a debate uh, on the vaccination programme? This, this week, we are heading towards another significant milestone with the two million uh, administration of the vaccine to be given. Uh, a quarter of a million people we hope to be vaccinated this week. But it's extraordinary that one of the most valuable assets we have is our pharmacists, our community pharmacists, and they're not being utilised at all in the ongoing vaccination programme. In the first iteration of the National COVID-19 Vaccination Strategy and Implementation Plan, community pharmacists were seen as being central to that, identified in the report as being having a central role. Since then, I think it's 27 uh, changes we've seen to the vaccination programme, but no sign of the community pharmacists' involvement in this. Uh, trained vaccinators, and the reason I ask is why? I know Minister Donnelly spoke about it at the weekend, but I certainly hope that we can see our community pharmacists and our pharmacists being used in the vaccination programme. M Leader, I want also to have a debate on the public appointments service, PASS. And let me give you an example to the House. And Cahillic, you might indulge me for one minute, please. On the 20th of January, the public appointments service advertised a vacancy in the board of the Dublin Airport Authority. The Dublin Airport Authority. The reason I'm raising this this morning is there is no Cork representation on the board of the Dublin Airport Authority. Leaving aside your, your worker directors, there is no Cork representation on the board of the Dublin Airport Authority. And Cork Airport is the second busiest airport in the country. And my second point, Cahillic, is this. A number of people from Cork applied and were, did not come through the public appointments process. And I know the people, and I won't name them, Cahillic, I won't name them. They're not political. They're eminently qualified and suitable people. And there is something fundamentally wrong where a public appointment service, when qualified people cannot come through to serve on a board who have no political affiliation, none. And I'm asking for debate in the House on the public appointments uh, service, in particular in regarding the Board of Dublin Airport Authority. Gormagas.